A footer is important on any website because it contains links that may not be able to fit on your main header. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a DV theme footer step-by-step -step using the DV theme builder. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you will get access to my advanced web design course, a course that teaches you how to design websites step-by-step -step from scratch, even if you're a beginner. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard and I've already gone ahead and installed Divi. So what you wanna do is to go all the way down here to Divi and then click on Theme Builder. Now, the reason why we're building this footer right in the Theme Builder is because we want a footer that is pretty much consistent throughout the whole website. This cannot be achieved if we design the footer for each page. So this is where the Theme Builder comes in. All right, so now that we're here in the Theme Builder, we wanna come here and add a global footer. So I'm gonna click here on add global footer and I'm going to build it from scratch. I'm going to click here on start building and I'm going to start here with a single column and in that column I'm going to add a text module and I'm going to give this now a title. So let's say this could be about us and I'm just going to highlight this and make this heading two and then save. All right, so the next step now is to go in and add our background color for our footer. So I'm gonna click here on my section settings, click on background, and I am going to add my color. So you can add whatever color you want that uh, works well with your website. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my color here, and I'm just gonna make this darker. In fact, you know what? I prefer this color here, but there we go. All right, so now that I have my color, I can now start designing around it. So the next step now is to come over here to design. I need to give this um, some breathing space. So I'm gonna come to spacing and give this a padding of seven VW. And I'm going to apply this both to the top and the bottom as well, and then save. Now I also need to add another one. So I'm gonna click here on add new section, click on regular. And this is also going to be a single column. And uh, in this single column, I'm gonna add a text module. And then I'm just gonna say designed by Mac. Now I really like this centered, so I'm just gonna highlight it and just center it like that. Again, I'm going to save, and I'm going to come back here and give this a background color. This time I am going to make this black. So I'm gonna click here to add my color. Just going to select my color like that. Now, if you don't prefer black, you can play around with different colors. Next, I'm going to come over here to design spacing and I am going to add one VW and I'm going to add this both to the top and the bottom. Now I can see here there's still a bit too much space. So I'm going to change this to 0.5 and then save. Right. So let's do some work here now on our footer. So back over here, I'm going to go into my text module and I'm going to start to add some links here. So our first link here is going to be our story. So I think this works. I have added our story FAQ and sponsors. So these are pages that should be on the actual website or even external web pages. Okay, so what I need to do next now is to make sure these are links. So I'm going to highlight our story, click on this chain icon. Now for now, I'm just going to add some dummy links. So I'm going to say, okay, do the same to FAQ. Now in your case, make sure you're adding links that link to pages. So this is my final one. Excellent. So now that we have all our links here, it's time now to customize this and make them look really nice. So I'm going to start here with About Us. So I'm going to start off by changing my font here to Poppins, and I'm also going to change my color here. So I'm going to come over here and just make sure I have the exact color that I want. So I'm just dragging here, and I think I'll go with that color. And for my links, I am also going to change my color here. So I'm going to go with, in fact, you know what? Why not use the color palette? Okay, so I think I'll, I'm gonna go with that. Next, I'm also going to uh, change my font. So I'm gonna change this to Poppins. And then I'm gonna come over here to line height. And I'm gonna go with 0.5 on the line height. So, so far, I really like how this is looking. So we're going to keep things very simple here. I'm now going to save this. Now, what I'm going to do next is to come over here now to my rows. 
So I'm going to click on my row settings and I'm going to duplicate this a few times. So I'm going to go in and do it about twice. So we have four columns like that. Now, if you want, you can just go with three columns, but I prefer to go with four. And what I'm going to do now is in the third column, I'm going to go in and add some social media follow icons. Right, so I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to change this here to follow us. So I'm going to delete all this. So that's all I'm going to do here. Save. And then I'm going to hover over here and add another module. So um, this time, this is going to be our social media follow. I'm going to select that. So far, we have two. But before I add more, I want to make sure that uh, all my social media icons here are the uh, color that I want them to be. So I'm going to start here with Facebook. So I'm going to right click and say reset item styles. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed that, but uh, the background now is gone. And then over here on design, I can go to my icon here and add the color. So I'm going to go with that for my icon colors. But if you want a different color, you can use uh, these different colors over here. All right. So now that I have this, I'm going to come back over here to content. Now, make sure that this is going to link to your social media uh, profile page. So I'm going to come over here and add a blank link. So in your case, you need to make sure this is your Facebook page. All right. So now that I have that, I'm just going to go back. I'm going to delete this one here and duplicate this a few times. And then I'm just going to go in and change my social media platform here from Facebook to but this one here is going to be Instagram. Now I noticed now that I have the background here as well. Anyway, we're going to fix that in a moment. So here I'm going to add my blank link, go back, right click and reset item styles now that removes that background okay so let's go into the next one here so this one here is going to be say youtube and again i'm going to link this to my blank link but in your case you need to link to youtube right click reset item styles move on to the final one and this one here is going to be twitter Again, I'm going to add my blank link, come back over here, right click, reset item styles. Now, let's say you want to change all of these uh, into a uh, specific color. So rather than going into each and one of these, I'm going to come over here to design icon. And this is where you can make your change. So you see, just by doing that, this has updated my colors and you can choose which color you want to use over here. Actually, you know what? I kind of like that, but let's go back to our color that we had earlier and we're going to keep it like that. All right. So now that we have our social media follow, let's take a look here and see how we can uh, add something different over here. All right. So we're going to save this and uh, we're going to click here on this gear icon and say our company. So this is where we're going to add our address. So I've just entered here a fake address in Birmingham and a fake postcode. And now it's time to stylize this text by coming over here now to design. I'm going to click here on this paintbrush icon and let's choose our font. And this time it's going to be Poppins. And we are also going to make this bold. In fact, you know what? Let's make it semi bold. There we go. Now it's time to add our color. So I'm just going to go to my recent colors here and choose a color that works well with this. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to save that. Now we have these two similar columns. So in one of these, we can change this to something else. So let's change this to our terms. And then for instead of saying our story, we're going to say privacy policy. So here I've added privacy policy, terms and conditions and disclaimer. So that's looking great. I'm going to now to save this. Next, we're going to come over here to the bottom here and make some changes to this. So first of all, I'm going to go into my row settings, go into design, spacing and remove my padding here. In fact, I may just add, uh, say, 10 pixels. Yeah, I think that looks great. Now I can save this. And then finally, I am going to go into my text module here and give this my desired color and also the customization to this text. So I'm going to come over here to design text, change this to Poppins just to make sure everything is consistent here. And then I am going to come over here to my colors. And for the colors, this does not really need to be way too bright. So I think this color here will work very well for our final 
footer here at the bottom. Now, if you want, you can also add a year over here. Now, one quick way you could do this is coming back over here to content. And now on the text here, you can make this dynamic text and we can say current date. And we can also customize this, by the way. So if I come over here to custom, I can just add my year. So now this year is going to be updated dynamically. So you don't have to go into the footer after every year to update it. This is going to show your current year. Now, before this, we can add our add sign. And then after, we can say designed by Mac Studios. I'm going to save that. And we can either leave this on the left here or we can center it by coming over here to text. Scroll down and center it like that. Now we're going to go ahead and save. So this is how we had our footer in the beginning. So when we come over here now and save this, in fact, we need to click on these three little dots and then all the way to the right here, you need to click on save. You can close here and then click on save changes. Now, when I visit my site, in fact, I'm going to open this in a new tab so we can see a before and after. When I scroll all the way down now, you can see that we have our beautiful footer and this is what we had before. Now, you're wondering how this may look on mobile devices. Let me show you how this would look. So I am going to go back into my builder here. Click on these three little dots. And then I am just going to go into my tablet view here. And then you can see everything is divided into four, which is fantastic. Now, if you want, you can play around with the slider here just to see how this would look like. So this is what it would look like on a mobile phone. And again, these are all in a single column, which I think is great. And as soon as it reaches a breakpoint, it then uh, separates now into these equal columns. And there we go. So it looks really nice on uh, different mobile screens. Now, if you want, you can save this, export it, and then use it on another website. And this is the beauty of using our theme builder. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.